Okay, this is the rocker arm assembly out of a Listeroid 6.1. The lower rocker arm, this face was true and square to the valves and valve caps. So it had a nice pattern right, worn right in the middle of the radius here. This one was way out of square. So it was riding on one edge, which would result in extreme valve guide wear and binding. Basically it's been ground down to close to square and now this is the final step in squaring it up. I've got a uh, grinding stone set up in the Bridgeport machine so that as the guide runs past the stone it can be um, the curvature can remain in that uh, surface. table for another pass. Raise the table for another pass. Okay, that gives us uh, a tr surface that's true and square with the other tappet and the pinch assembly that's here squared up in the vise. The curvature remains so that as it pushes down on the valve, the valve actually rides back and forth across the surface. That's why it's got to be curved. It doesn't just contact and push as it pushes down during that motion. It's actually this valve stem is actually riding back and forth a little bit across this face, so you need the curvature. It's a little rough at this point, but at least it's square. Now I'm going to true it up using um, coarse carborundum wet dry paper and an aluminum block across this and this face so that these two faces here will be absolutely true. Should work. The solution to one more Listeroid problem.